How's it going everyone? This video is going to be a trading view walkthrough where I go through settings, general shortcuts, drawing shortcuts, how to make templates, as well as my settings. So let's get into it. So when you get into trading view, you're going to have this screen. Essentially, this is where the majority of the functions lie that you need to use. If you need to switch a symbol, it will be right here. Right? And you can go ahead and type it in. So for example, we can switch to NQ. However, you don't have to click up there to do it. If you're selected into a pane, a window pane here, you can just switch by typing in ES. If you want to change a time frame, you can do that by clicking up here. These time frames will be up here as long as you star them as your favorite. And for example, if I unstar 30 seconds, you can see it disappears. You can also switch to these time frames by just typing in the number in the screen. So for example, I have this pane selected. I will type in five and it will automatically go to five minutes. If I want five seconds, I would then have to clarify seconds or five days, five days, one day, as you can see there. The next thing we're gonna go over, this is where you can choose between candles, lines, etc. I always keep it on candles. And then this is your indicators where you can add or subtract indicators that you use. So for example, if you use volume and add it there, you can have it and you can select or unselect it there. This is where you can save templates. So for example, if I wanted to take all these indicators and save it as a template, I could save indicator as a template there. Um, over here, if you want a four screen, you can see I have four windows open. There I have one, so you can adjust these however you please. Right here, if you forget a search, for example, if you want to put in a line, you can type in line, you don't have to look for it. Um, these are the settings, let you look at those, pretty much default on the most part, um, and I will get to those at the end. Um, if you want to go full screen, you can click here, and then this will help you publish images if you want. Now for the general shortcuts, there's quite a few we can go over. So if I want to take an image of this whole screen, I can just hit Control shift s and you can see image copied to clipboard. And that just took a screenshot of this whole page, so then I can send it to people or do whatever with it. And if you want a full screen, you can just click on whatever pane you want to full screen and hit shift f and that will take it full screen. Now that we're full screen, we're gonna leave it this way for a minute. And if you want to full screen an individual pane, you can hold down Alt and then click your mouse and it will put you in there. If you hold Alt and click, it'll take you back out. When you're in the screen maximized and you're still in the four window pane, you can use Tab to switch through each one you have selected. And then let's say you wanna get back out, Alt and click, out of full screen, Shift and S. So you can see how that works pretty quick. And then let's say you want to switch your layout, which you can save up here. You can save as a new layout or load a layout. Let's say instead of wanting to go up here and load a new layout, you can just hit the period button and then select a layout from there. When you're in individual panes and you want to adjust quicker, there's a few things you can do. If you hold down control and an arrow, you can move really quickly through the charts. So that's just a control plus the right arrow, control plus left arrow. So let's say I'm all the way back here and want to go to the very beginning. I can use Alt, Shift, and then the right arrow, and it'll take me back to the present area. You can also do that by using Alt R, which will reset it. For example, if you want to zoom in, you can use the scroll wheel. But if you don't want to zoom in like that, you can hold down Control, and it will do a focused zoom. So with that, we are going to go over the drawing tab over here and then shortcuts for that. So up here, you have different cursors you can choose from. I keep mine on cross because I like it. These are your lines. And if you use one line a lot, you can see you can highlight it to your favorites. And where do your favorites go? Right down here on the bottom, you can move that around. If you'd want that hidden, you can go over here to the left side and hide that. Whatever you use, you can see you can also use Alt-T, there's shortcuts for all these. And then you can go down through and select what you want to use. Obviously you can see what I use the most, rectangle, fib, horizontal line, brush, and then some a path, long and short position. Really you can just go through here and find what you use and add it to your favorites tab. So for example, if I wanted to draw a line without having to go over there and select it, I could use Alt plus T 
and there I have a line. Now, if I want to draw a fib, Alt plus F, and you can see I have a fib. Now you might be wondering, how do you delete so fast? And so like, let's say you have a lot of drawings. My favorite way to delete is you can use your middle mouse button and it will delete for you so you don't have to select and delete. The next way you can do it is if you have a bunch of lines, you can hold down control, select them all, then use the delete key. What I think will help the most people is when you're drawing with a line or anything, you can see I don't have magnet mode on. If you hold down control, it will turn on magnet mode. So you don't have to have it turned on all the time. When you get to where you want, say I want this high, now I use magnet mode, now I'm on that high. Then when you're drawing, if you hold down shift, you can get a straight line or 45 degree angle, 90. It will draw a straight line. The next thing we're gonna go over is templates. So for example, let's say I had this low marked out this morning and I want to label that previous day low. And I'll put that at the top, right, and 10. But let's say I do that almost every day, and I don't want to spend my time typing that out every day. What you can do is right-click, template, save as, or you can click in here, template, save as, and then we could save this as previous day low. As you can see, I already have one. So for example, I can draw a line right here, right-click, go to template, go to previous day low, and it automatically will put it in there for you. So for example, if you look at all the ones I have, I have one for midnight open, 830 open, and then quite a few of them. So that will save you a lot of time drawing templates. And then if we're gonna go over my colors and background, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that on the screen right here. You guys can look at it. Those are the hex codes, and that is if you want the same format as me, as well as my settings. I know I get some people asking fib settings, so. We will look into that. You can see you can adjust the colors here, but I just have the 0 0.5, 0 0.62, 0 0.79, 0 and 1. And I also have templates for that. You can make templates for everything. So similarly with the boxes, depending on fair value gaps, I will have templates for that. Right? So if that's a four hour fair value gap, I'll draw it like that. Then I can switch to hour fair value gap, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope that helps you guys out. If you have any other questions or if I miss something, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See ya.